Hello, Roger Bisby here from the Skill Builder channel. We've got a little question here from Neil. He's got this asbestos soil pipe, which is leaking at the joint. He's put a red ring around the, the joint here so we can see it. And um, yeah, it was one of those asbestos jobs. So I don't like those at all, actually. But he wants to get rid of it. He wants to have something. You, know, you can see the paint's flaking off it. It's not looking nice. Starting to deteriorate. So he said he's had a plumber in. In fact, he asked several people. The only guy that quoted for it wants over a thousand quid to replace it. And he said, "This is a lot of money. Um, am I being ripped off? Is this reasonable?" And then he said that the people who are going to take the asbestos away also want a thousand quid or over a thousand quid anyway to take it away. So he's saying. It seems like a lot. Well, it is a lot, but then again, when I look at a job like this, I'm probably guilty of underpricing jobs rather than overpricing them, which is why I'm still poor. I can see why the man would want a thousand quid. For a start, he's got to do it, and not everybody wants to do asbestos work. So he's got to break that out or get someone else to break it out carefully, soak it, reduce the fibres. And then he's got to put the new saw pipe in, which, you know, is it probably maybe 200 quid's worth of materials. You know, this stuff's gone up in price quite a lot. By the time you buy a branch, an elbow there, pan connector, a couple of connectors there. He's got to go down into the ground. Obviously, there's a lower bit we can't see, but that would go into a glazed drain. So he's got to break that out carefully. So all in all, by the time he's messed around, he might be into couple of days work there doing that who knows okay i know people can do it in a day but you know why rush and then we have to consider that if he's doing it strictly by the book health and safety wise he would need to put a scaffold tower up there so he needs a scaffold tower you know if he's going to hire that and that's probably going to be a couple of hundred quid hire the scaffold tower put that up and get in there and take all that lot out and then try and get it back so that you can use the loo in the same day but who knows so all in all thousand quid is probably a realistic price for doing that quite honestly now when it comes to taking the asbestos away i did a job some years ago which was very similar to this but it was actually a flue pipe rather than a soil pipe and the householder was she was a bit of a warrior she's all right very nice lady but she did tend to worry and she's all oh, no asbestos we must have that done by the specialist by the experts i know you can't handle that stuff and i said okay fine call the experts in of course they wanted you know over a thousand quid to come along and um in fact i think it's a lot more than that but uh they came along in this van and they were dressed up like spacemen you know, all the hazmat suit the respirators the whole bit walked towards me come to get the asbestos they took one look at it here it was imagine this is a flue pipe and not a soil pipe took one look at it and I went, oh, no, we can't go up there, mate. We need a scaffolding. We're not allowed to go up on ladders. And uh, so they were about to turn around and um, go back, abort admission. So I said to them, well, it's a bit of a shame. You've come all this way to do this job, and now you're going to have to come back again. And, you know, that might incur extra cost for the customer. I don't know. But anyway, whatever it was, I said to them, we need to get on with the job as well. You know, we're trying to get out of here. So I said to them, what would it be like if I took the soil pipe, sorry, what would it be like if I took the flue pipe down for you with a ladder and um, handed you the sections and then you put them in your polythene sacks and took them away? And they went, that's fine, mate. You can do that and no problem at all. Happy days, you know? So that's what I did. I got up there with a mask and um, just made sure the whole thing was nicely wetted with a hose pipe first just to kill any fibres. And I got up there with a mask and I carefully removed the pipe so I didn't break it too much. And I lowered it down to the chaps waiting below in their hard hats and they popped it in the bags and took it away. So they had an easy day's work and um, I was able to get on. But the, the, what I'm saying basically is that removing asbestos, although they say, oh, use the specialist, this is asbestos cement. It's not the most dangerous asbestos in the world. It's all been painted. And if you don't start drilling it, cutting it or anything else, if you can get it off in sections, it's not too bad. And you can put it inside sacks. Now, my local authority, if you put it into a, a polythene bag, and I've got special polythene bags which are marked up asbestos material, if you put it into one of those and you tape it all up with duct tape and you take it to your local authority uh, waste transfer place, you know, recycling place, 
a lot of them will take the asbestos and that way they just take it to the landfill nobody touches it it's all in the sealed bags it goes out and it goes deep into the landfill so that hopefully it'll never be disturbed again and um, a bit like nuclear waste really anyway that's the thing so you can pay to have it taken away and it is possible i think it's possible to do it yourself Although they say, oh, you're supposed to be a licensed contractor. You're supposed to be a licensed contractor if you're selling the job. But anyway, if you think it's a lot of money, paying over a 1,000 quid to have a bit of asbestos taken away, then there may be the option. But check with your local authority first. Check whether they will take your bags of asbestos waste before you start doing it. And don't, whatever you do, go to some itinerant fly-by-night guy, even if they advertise in the directories, even if they look as if they're a great firm you know, waste disposal characters, unless you know something about them. I've used these guys before and they look legit, but it all ends up in a country lane and that's the last thing in the world we want. So there you are. That's my answer. I'm sure that's going to get a lot of enraged people. You shouldn't touch asbestos. You don't know what you're talking about. But there you go. That's what I do. And I'm still here, just about.